and welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending February 27th, 2021. Let me switch over here to the first one. Well, it's finally happened. The Mugen Train completed its complete domination of the Japanese film charts last year and has now moved on to conquer the entire world. As of this week and the current currency exchange rates, Mugen Train has earned more than 399 million US dollars and surpassed Spirit Away to become the highest earning Japanese film of all time worldwide. The film opened this week in Australia and New Zealand, and to no one's surprise, ranked at number one on its first day in both of those countries as well. <laughs> as most of us probably remember, it had the biggest opening of all time when it premiered in Japan and spent 13 of 14 weeks at number one on Japan's box office, dropping only once on Gintama the finals opening weekend. Um, it will bring its conquering journey to North American theaters soon. An Oscar qualifying week of screenings is also taking place this week in Miami, so don't be surprised if Mugen Train shows up again, breaking more records in the future. I gotta say, I kind of don't know what more to say about Mugen Train at this point. I don't think there is anything to say. I mean, it's just... I, I, from, I, I, from now on, it's just going to keep opening and keep rolling and opening and rolling, and it's... Ah. I, I feel like the next thing that needs to happen is that we have to, like, bring in a laptop somehow mm. or something in live stream the movie. Yeah. You, you gotta <laughs> and see just it. And, and see it mm. and just go, okay. Yeah. You're done. Mm-hmm. Done. Yeah. Yeah. And then goes um. over to Steve's Pachinko Farm. <laughs> yep. Follow the pink neon sign. For the exclusive endings. Okay, oh. so price is right rules. How much will it make? In America? Oh, Worldwide. Worldwide, yeah, it's, it's at three hundred ninety-nine. Yeah, it's hit basically four hundred million so far. One point nine billion. I'm going to go a little bit lower. One point two. Okay, I'm going to go one point five. Um, I, I, I'm hoping, like later this year, when it's hit everywhere, we'll come back and we'll see how we did. I'm curious. All right. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to find out just, just how it goes. Watch, it'll be like $5 billion. Um, <laughs> You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to go crazy. Who knows? Or everyone's just going to open up their wallets or bank accounts and check the establish why they have it. It's just gone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's <laughs> all the money. from Mugen Train that says thank you. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's just, we're done. We're done. Um, moving right along, the... Whoops. Moving right, moving right along, the Publishing Science Institute which surveys and researches Japan's publishing industry, published a report this week on the 2020 manga market. The fact that the report found an increase in the market is probably to be expected after a year of everyone staying at home and reading more. But the amount of increase is quite impressive. The manga market increased 23% from the previous year, reaching nearly 613 billion yen, or about 5.75 billion U.S. dollars. This is the wow. highest peak the market's ever hit since the statistics began way back in 1978. The previous peak was 586 billion yen in 1995. Wow. Moreover, huh. the sale of paper manga publications increased 13%, which is, of course, credited in large part to Demon Slayer, though <laughs> its huge success also encouraged an increase in other popular series as well. Sale of digital comics were unsurprisingly up the highest, increasing by 31% from the previous year. The Hon Shupan Hanbai, a major Japanese publishing agency, also made a report about the year's sales this week. A survey across 1,700 stores found that last year in-store sales rose 4.3%, making 2020 the first time the sales number has exceeded the previous year since 2000, the, th- the, the year wow. the survey began. Manga wow. made the vast majority of the increase with physical manga sales up in stores by 31.5%, and I bet you can guess what series contributed the most to that number. Book sales, on the other hand, decreased by 1%, while magazines struggled the most down nearly 9% from the previous year. And that in huh. itself I find kind of interesting. Um, because, you know, magazines are fun, magazines are cool, and the Japanese uh, magazine market is pretty darn robust. So, not sure what's going on there. Everybody's just, they said, forget magazines, Mugen Trin. Uh, Anything commensal, (laughs) no Yaiba. That's it. I don't don't need any other things. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Um, this is all my which all of this wants. manga it's it makes me now i'm starting to really understand why i can't get any hello kitty toilet paper there we go all mm -hmm. of the pulp stock is going into making damn manga exactly <laughs> right i'm curious <laughs> i'm assuming that they don't that that shonen jump counts as manga just to be clear. I would, probably. I would love yeah, that. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So good so. housekeeping and Southern Living are just taking a uh, beating this right. year. <laughs> yeah, so Southern Living, a very popular magazine in Japan, I'm sure. <laughs> well, especially in Okinawa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Big <laughs> Southern Living. Never mind. <laughs> Skip it. Okay. Um, it's funny. You, you'd think, um, you know, who wouldn't want a copy of Hobby Link Japan or of, of – um, I forget the name of the... Uh, Popular uh, Mechanics? Uh, um, oh, what is the name? The, the popular Japanese hobby, um, like, gunpla kit kind of magazine. But yeah, oh. why, why wouldn't you want any of those, you know, hobby things, Megami Magazine, all those things? Why wouldn't you want those at home? I, I, I don't well, know. Are, they, are they converting rapidly to digital? I mean, is that... So is it just mm. the, literally... People oh, are now right. subscribing yeah. digitally, right. and they're just like, ah, I don't need a mail copy. I've already, yeah. I, you know, I got my reader on my phone. Yeah. I'll just yeah, the, do the it magazine there. itself is shifting. So yeah, 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 that, that, yeah. That, that, that totally makes sense. Well, I know a lot of magazines. Was it uh, History Magazine? Right. Um, yeah. And Switch. One I one I got years ago it was like mm -hmm. World War Two monthly, became quarterly, and uh, it became like the mm -hmm. quarterly military yeah. history report. Mm -hmm. And it was like I used to get it. 12 episode, 12 episodes, 12 issues <laughs> a year, mm -hmm. and then I got four. Mm -hmm. yep. And not like, oh, it's, you know, take all 12 worth of content and make it into four. So you got a really thick magazine. Yep. No. It was like, yep. where did all the content go? Yeah. Make Magazine famously went all digital when that was a very physical magazine for a long time. Um, and that was O'Reilly. Like, they, you know, they're doing fine. But hard to keep it up. Did did Mad and Cracked survive? No. Cracked and Mad. Well, the last Mad was sold. What? Fairly five recently. Years yeah. A couple years ago. Yeah. 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 Um, it's, Which is too yeah. bad. But, yeah. Because I I I'd like I mean, I'm all order. <laughs> yeah. well, who doesn't love Mad so, Magazine? Right. But uh, well, it's very but, hard with the digital version to do the fold exactly. and part of the yeah. back cover. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work like that. That's not, not really the, the way that works. No. So yeah. Um, but yeah, also interesting just that, that that manga has buoyed so much of that. You yeah. know, it's it's kind of interesting to me because well, I guess the the advantage of manga is that over say book sales is that books are just a lot easier to kindleize it's a lot easier to yeah. justify i'm just gonna get this on my kindle it doesn't really matter it's just words right like right. It, there's it, having the physical thing is cool and is, is good but it doesn't quite have the same sachet as having you know the actual art there on paper the, yeah. the resolution right. and that kind of stuff, yeah so. although i think we're, we're, we're seeing a change in that you know there, there are enough devices out now that have enough high resolution screens where it's like you know the manga looks good on screen, so we'll see if that. I happens. wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet, but I will eventually. Don't at worry. Some point. Um, cool. Moving right along to some interesting Ghibli news. Um, Spirited Away might have moved to number two in worldwide film ranking, but the beloved story is still going strong. Toho revealed on Friday that Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli's masterpiece is inspiring its first stage play adaptation. Tony and Olivier Award-winning director John Caird is writing and directing the production, which will open next February in Tokyo, then tour across Japan through the spring and summer. Ghibli producer Toshio Suzuki uh, commented positively on Caird, saying, We, Hayao and I, both liked John's vision. He is a person we can trust. I'm looking forward to seeing Chihiro grow on stage under his direction. I could tell how much he adores his story from his delighted face when I gave him a no-face piggy bank. <laughs> a awesome. no-face Piggy Bay. That's a decision. Um, <laughs> that was what was available at the Ghibli <laughs> store. <laughs> do, do we remember what No Face is the month? Oh, any, anyway. Um, yeah. Hey, Goro, you got anything on the sales uh, shelf or something? I got to give somebody something. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, and when they say Chihiro Grow on stage, there are two actresses playing Chihiro. 
Um, there's going to be a younger be and an older version of Chihiro on, oh. on stage, which is interesting. And okay. uh, both of the actresses are also anime voice actors, which is kind of cool. Huh. Um, yeah, they've, they've done anime voice acting in the past, plus many other things, obviously. But um, so, so that's a very um, positive sign for um, um, opening up in, yeah. in Japan, mm-hmm. I think. Uh, because right now, if we were trying to do a play here in Baltimore, the, the local government would come in with the cops and go, no, yeah, not mm-hmm. happening. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's some, it looks like some hope um, for a oh, theatrical there's... release. Stay tuned. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yes. Um, so moving on to this story. Bum, bum, bum. Netflix announced this week that it is partnering with Skydance and Production IG on an anime series for the Terminator franchise. Another one. <laughs> Matson Tomlin of Project Power and The Batman will serve as showrunner and executive producer for the show. President and CEO of Production IG commented on the project, saying, quote, I asked my longtime friend and colleague Mamoru Oshii what he thought about the idea of turning Terminator into an animated series. His response was, Ishikawa, are you out of your mind? (laughs) At that moment, at that instant, I was confident we should get on board. As huge fans, our team at Production IG is putting their heart and soul into creating this series. We hope fans will enjoy it. I don't know what that says about about Tomomoro Oshii. Um, um, The sci-fi actually began in 84, obviously the original Schwarzenegger film. Wow. There, there was a collection of animated shorts back in 2008, but they were never released. And a short computer animated web series in 2009 that was a prequel to the video game. The T-800 has appeared in anime form once before in an official authorized cameo in Doraemon in 2009. Yep. The dream matchup was described by Japanese press as a confrontation between America and Japan's <laughs> famous robots. Oh, boy. <laughs> So I I actually saw one of the fan fan built ones, oh, which cool. was um, Batman survives um, the takeover. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. And, and he oh, and he's Judgment and he's day. going up yeah. Judgment Day, and yeah. he he um, he survives <laughs> Judgment Day, and his mission is fighting mm, mm-hmm. you know, Skynet. Yep. And so there's uh there's a um, <clears throat> it's on YouTube somewhere, and it's mm-hmm. it's 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 been around for a while now. But it's just him in the Batmobile from uh, <clears throat> was it uh, the Dark Knight? Okay. Comic book, so it's the big tank one. Mm-hmm. one. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And uh, going after the T one T eight hundred, and um, it's 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 a fun five minute romp, romp but it, you know it's 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 just action. It's just yeah, kind of like just yeah. You know. Cameron's stuff has always been sort of anime esque. And there's always mm-hmm. been kind of this actiony, slightly over the not over the top, but but fantastical aspect to his films a lot. I think um, I think Terminator certainly could work, um, and it has the advantage that it's is not too wild, that it would be like hard to adapt into animation. Although, granted, anime has managed to adapt all sorts of amazing, <laughs> weird things. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think it's 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 fun. Um, I'm not sure why Ishikawa called out Mamoru Oshii. Um, I don't know if they're having a tiff or something. It's just kind of weird. Um, but it's uh, just name dropping. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. You know, I mean, like, oh, the people consulted for this series were Oshii. Yeah. Like, wait a minute. I didn't. No, I told you you were insane. <laughs> <laughs> we still talked about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, gotcha. Um, Gives cred. <laughs> And your know, production IG, they're, they're all nerds, right? Like, they'll, they'll, they'll yeah. definitely have fun with it. I will be curious to hear, Brent, your review when you when you see the first episode of it. Okay, yeah. I will, I Actually, will. you know what? Speaking of production IG... Maybe, I maybe think, we'll think, all be watching the first episode yeah. of it, doing the review. Who knows? Yeah. I think there should be... Production IG should do a, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, Jinro versus Terminator. Yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah. sure who'd win it. Versus that Predator. One. Versus, Versus Predator. Alien. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Yep. There we did, go. Did we have that movie already? <laughs> Alien versus Predator. Yeah. 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 Yes, we did. Uh, let's see here. 
Also this week, a few news stories to, to mention. Might dig in, might not, depending on things. So yell out, guys, if you want to mention anything. Um, after two delays, thanks to COVID, the final Evangelion film has gotten another, hopefully final this time, theatrical release date. The film's premiere, which was originally set to take place June 27th of last year, will now be on I... March 8th. Free streaming service Tubi, as in T-U-B-I, available in the U.S., Mexico, Canada, and Australia, has partnered with Toei Animation to release um, some anime titles for free streaming. About 500 episodes from six different anime series um, are included. Gigage no Kitaro, Dr. Slump, mm -hmm. Toriko, Slam Dunk, Saint Seiya Saintai Sho, and Saint Seiya Hades, as well as six... Uh, One Piece specials? Hmm. Um, this will be the Just, first time you know, that Dr. Slump... Like... Say what? <laughs> the One Piece, I'm like, why not? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Not? Um, it'll be the first I, time... Actually, I'd be curious about the Dr. Slump. Yeah, it'll be the first time Dr. Slump and St. Seiya Hades are in English. Hmm. Oh, so it's okay. Cool. I yeah. didn't know that. If it's not clear, uh, Dr. Slump is the, the first um, uh, hit by Akira Toriyama who did Dragon Ball. So his sort of lead into Dragon Ball. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Crunch's Afternoon Magazine revealed this week the next month's issue will bring a special short of Mushishi, the manga, titled The Shadow That Soars Through the Land. This will be the first uh, manga content for the franchise since 2013. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Everyone's favorite <clears throat> virtual idol will soon be taking over another stage. Krypton Future Media, one of the most awesome names ever, revealed wow. this week it is co-developing an original animated series for its vocaloid Hatsune Miku. Um, they're also working on an original series of webtoons and comics. The project will, quote, enter the story of the Mikuverse that will combine live action, animation, and music, end quote. Uh, live what action? Is it, then? Live action. Miku. Really? Yeah, Miku. Why not? They, they've done the stage shows. Well, but I mean, are you talking like live action like when she was on like Letterman? Or like her stage shows where she's live? Or are you gonna make, or, or somebody going to be Miku? You know what I mean? Because it's like that's the neat part about her is the fact that she's this digital personality. If you just, and no offense to whoever would play her, but it's like that's not why I think Miku's cool. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not that she's a person; it's that she's like a virtual person. That's neat. That's a neat thing. But that's yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Who knows? Um, I need a I need a pair of the like swirly glasses. Two D girls are much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no idea how this is going to turn out. So yeah. Um, TV Tokyo announced this week a new anime coming in the Yokai Watch franchise. <clears throat> uh, Yokai Watch note character, like a little musical note. note. Musical note. Uh, I don't know. Premiere on April 9th, which will feature new and returning Yokai. Um, the fourth volume of the Eminence in Shadow is Skylight Novel Series confirming an upcoming anime adaptation. Um, the story of Sid, a teenage boy who believes in a secret shadow world outside of reality, who is, of course, killed by a car this time and transported to a world where his fantasies can be lived out. Carcoon? Carcoon. Yeah, Carcoon. <laughs> Truck Coon's little brother. Exactly. Oh. Uh, Kanakawa announced this week that In the Land of Lee Dal, light novel series is inspiring an anime. Uh, interesting, a story is about a, um, a girl terribly injured after an accident who finds her only freedom in a VR world, um, and then her life support begins to fail, and she wakes up in a world that seems like the VR game, but 200 years in the future? Hmm. So, Didn't they do that, that in SAO? Did they? I think they did. It yeah. was after the, um, after the, the, oh gosh, what was the elf one? Einkraid is the first SAO, then there's the second one that was... Leafa, his sister, was in it, and uh, Asuna was trapped in the golden cage. Okay. The hell was that one called? <laughs> I don't know. But they had a girl in the next series where she was dying, and they had her, they sort of inserted her into SAO yeah. so that she could experience mm -hmm. running around and doing stuff and adventuring mm -hmm. and everything else yeah. because she physically was dying. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. And then the current SAO in, you know, incarnation has something about fluct lights and like these soul things are trying to create. And in this virtual world, Kirito gets injured and his soul is in the whatever. Uh, Don Heck did it, you know, back in 99. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, Tsubasa, <laughs> I think, was the 
care to yeah, use this, a wheelchair. This is not a uh, this is not a new thing that no, they're, they're digging, but certainly yeah. it's, we'll see we'll see how it runs. Yeah, curious to see how what they do with it. Um, interesting to kind of you know, focus on 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 that. We'll see. Um, a new Twitter account opened this week to reveal a TV anime adaptation of the RPG real estate manga. Um, it's a four panel following a mage who ends up working in a real estate agency in a fantasy world trying to find the perfect home for your unusual clients. So that <laughs> okay, okay. Um, <laughs> Shogaku Khan announced on Monday a TV anime adaptation in the works for Ore Tsushima, a manga about an elderly lady with several cats, and the new brazen cat Tsushima who appears in her yard. Oh. Sounds like a drama to me. Oh, uh, sounds just enticing. I can't imagine oh, what could be more. Fun. I want to watch fun. an anime. I want. It'll I want fun. cat ladies. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Oh, good. Okay. There is no way it could go wrong. There is no way it could be boring. There's no way it could be just terrible. It'll be awesome. He keeps bringing dead things to her. If you could, if you could Um, somehow tap into like the the healing element of like Non Non Buri and Eurocamp and make it about just the quiet, peaceful beauty of a well-maintained house, a well-maintained yard, and the sort of interaction that you get from a beloved pet with a be- with a pet's beloved owner. Mm-hmm. Genuinely, I might actually watch that yeah. because that would be I would that would that would center me for like the day mm-hmm. where I could be like, okay, I just feel really chilled out versus my roommate is a cat where it was like a little it was a little frenetic mm-hmm. <laughs> with the whole cat thing. <laughs> like, Kind of like Galandino. Galandino. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, I think that, that a new they should um, adapt. You know, you were talking about kind of like pastoral type of scenes mm-hmm. and stuff yeah. like that. They should adapt another very calming um, classical story to an anime. I think they should make Watership Down a nice children's anime. <laughs> I mean, they already did the CGI series, right? They've already done that. That that's yeah. what. Twelve episodes of, of Watership Down. Why not? Yeah, just go for it. <laughs> I'm not sure how relaxing that would be. <laughs> or perhaps Bridge to Terabithia. How about that? Yeah. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth. No. What? No. <laughs> Finally, the Japanese government has officially decided to lift the state of emergency early in Ooh. six prefectures. Yay! The state of emergency will lift tomorrow in Aichi, Gifu, Osaka, Kyoto, Hyogo, and Fukuoka. It will remain in effect until the planned March 7th in the four prefectures around Tokyo. Uh, Yasutoshi Nishimura, the minister in charge of COVID-19 response, said, quote, we will relax the restrictions in phases in order to avoid a new wave of infections, end quote. About 40 pre- prefectural governors met this week to discuss measures for preventing a resurgence, of, a resurgence of cases, and several stated that some restrictions will remain in place even when the state of emergency has been lifted, but still starting to return back to normal. 